and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. Today, I want to welcome you to another great episode of empowerment. To uh, fulfill our mission, we aim to enrich, to enlighten, to educate, to entertain, and we hope to empower. Today, we have another great success stories from Rags to Riches. And uh, to help us with the empowerment, we have our guest, uh, Glory McCaleb, to uh, share her story. And let's welcome Glory McCaleb, the owner of Creations by Glory, Hair Creations by Glory. So welcome to Pinoy Power Hawaii. Thank you, Ate, for having me in your show. Well, we bring people like you to help us with the empowerment. And the best way to get started is, uh, how did you begin? Tell us about uh, Glory. Glory, how I began, I born and raised in the Philippines, mm -hmm. in fact. Uh, came ano parte? Parte yeah. Ilocos Norte. Okay. Yes, Ilocos uh -huh. Norte in Marcos Town. Marcos Town. Marcos Town, oh, oh. yes. Yes. Um, grew up there, mm -hmm. graduate college in Lawag, mm. and I came here back in 1999. Okay. Moved to Hawaii back in 1999. Mm -hmm and started um, working here as a hairstylist. Mm -hmm. Went to school here and get my license, and that's when I said to myself, one day I will be, become an owner mm -hmm. for, uh, in the beauty industry. I love to make people happy, put a smile in their face, mm -hmm. make them feel beautiful, take their stress away when they come and mm -hmm. see me. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, okay, so. Uh, but before that, uh, tell us about your growing up. How was it like uh, growing up in Ilocos Norte, your upbringing? Oh, growing up is really hard when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. um, I used to help my parents to go to farm, mm -hmm. uh, so race pigs, ug taltalon, graub, ag sika, ag tarakan tibabuy. Alding. Mm. Uh, my mom and my dad um, plant a lot of vegetables, mm -hmm. and my mom cooks a lot of uh, kankanen. Mm -mm. Before I go to school, I go and sell kankanen vegetable in the morning, so I have allowance to go to school. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And then after school, nak galati. Harakan mi kalding, pakanti baboy. Life is really hard when mm -hmm. we were in the Philippines, and we were seven of us. Seven. Seven oh. siblings. Okay. And that uh, hard life motivated me mm -hmm. to uh, to succeed with my goal. Mm -hmm. And so, because of your uh, hard upbringing, uh, you wanted to do better. Uh, yes, I would like to do. I wanted to do better. Mm -hmm. And when uh, I was growing up, no one really does able to do what they want and what they succeed because we are, um, mm -hmm. don't, financial is really hard mm -hmm, back mm -hmm. then. Can you relate to the saying, Sangka sapulan, sangka apuyan? Sangka sapulan, sangka apuyan, nagrigat, yes. Mm -hmm. So, inakagla ko din ate, oh, and, uh, ti malam. Jedapunan. Yes, mm -hmm. and then, aksur-sur jewal balay. Mm -hmm. In the, uh, knock -knock. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, my our um, neighbors they said, "Hang kami gumatang no hangkag kanta." Oh, oh. So okay. I I have to sing, uh -huh. and I I you know I sing before they buy, and wow. I, I entertain them. Uh -huh. But um, that's all like you know um, hard work. Yes. And then uh, so some you people, learn how to use your charm. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Either sing or dance, uh -huh. and then they say, "Okay, tip me." Uh -huh. Then the money they give me mm -hmm. is my allowance to go to school. Wonderful. Yes. What a wonderful uh, foundation, ng Rogianam. In other words, you weren't one of those fortunate ones. Nga, you were born with a, a silver spoon or silver platter. Tatap non agbaling kang adonya hang kang agtrabaho, right? Yes. You yes. weren't one of those. No, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I was. You know, I was really glad that I grew up that way. Mm -hmm. I didn't regret that we we grew up in a poor. Uh, poor side, not mm -hmm. in a wealthy side, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because that um, hard work and poor, it motivated me and it made me strong and mm -hmm. made me for who I am now. 
Okay, so yes. as a little girl, uh, you started to have a dream that yes. someday you would come to uh, Hawaii, particularly yes. Yes. America. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, who, nang tawing kada kayo? How did your family able to come to uh, Hawaii or America? My bro uh, my father has mm -hmm. one sibling. They're only two brother, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he had an opportunity to come here because of his wife, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Larry Ermitano and Auntie Anita. Um, so help us. They are your uh, connection. Yes. So that nang tawing kung yes. Kung yes. Ka. Um, my uncle actually just passed away, so it's a little bit emotion for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he, they are the reason why. Mm -hmm. um, I'm and here now, yes. Wow. Um, they had, uh, mm -hmm. they became my parents mm -hmm. when my parents mm -hmm. still back in the mm -hmm. Philippines. Mm -hmm. They helped me and guided me, mm -hmm. um, made me strong, always trying to remind me that mm -hmm. don't forget your root mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and help your root. Mm -hmm. And my family um, did not forget our root. Even when we're here now, we're mm -hmm. still helping um, our community back home. Mm -hmm. We still, you know, go and take a vacation and spend time with the people in town, mm -hmm. in Marcos Town. Okay. Yes. So, um, uh, you know the value of hard work. Yes. Na i, uh, dijay. In mm -hmm. And then, um, who inspired you? Sino ti talaga nga idol mo? Nga nakitam nga dete kasla kayat mo nga sorota ni titugot na tatap no agbaling ka nga successful my father your father yes. okay yeah so my father um, passed away back in 2007 mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. even how hard life is mm -hmm. uh, narigat ti pa nagbiag his heart is so full of love mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um he always help other people mm -hmm. even nga uh, uh, sangka sa pulan, sangka apu yan. Mm -hmm. I-share nang to pa lang, Jay. Jay uh, bagi na. Jay, Jay bagi na. Mm -hmm. um, wow. That's what I admire about my mm -hmm. father. Mm -hmm. um, it's very emotional. Even when he gets here, he mm -hmm. still help. And every time, uh, he always tell me mm -hmm. that be humble. And don't forget where you're coming from. Oh, I and feel these are <laughs> <laughs> we, we do get emotional here, yes, yes. you know, we shed a tear because uh, we uh, appreciate the value ti kinariga. Yes, yes. Uh, and therefore it helps to drive us to do better and to succeed. Yeah, I'm yes, sure you I can think. relate to that. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Um, now that um, I reach my goal today, uh -huh. the people approach me, why you become so humble? Mm -hmm. I think of my my dad, my uncle, always humble. Mm -hmm. Even if they have something, they always never like. They, to they, share, forgot, yeah? they didn't forget where uh -huh. they're from, and that's what is inside my heart. Mm -hmm. I wanted to give out. I pray to God that will bless me more to give out to the community uh -huh. here. I know I have a lot of um, relatives and friends from uh, Marcos or either any from the Philippines. Yes. Wanted to give out to the community. And sometimes by me, as a hairstylist, uh -huh. even if I don't have money, if I can put a smile in their face by doing their hair, that means a lot to me. Wow. <laughs> it just kind of brings joy to my heart listening mm -hmm. to your story. Uh, because you are so willing to share, willing to give. And this is why when people come to you and say, Glory, would you help us with our uh, mission? Would you help those that are less fortunate? I know that you cannot say no. Yes, yes. It's uh -huh. hard for me to say no because my heart always say I'm willing to help as long uh -huh. as I'm, I can stand up and have energy and have, um, you know, something to help. Uh -huh. Either money, either uh, anything I can do. Resources, Resources. or talents. Yeah? Yes, yes. Wow, so wonderful to hear your, <laughs> your story. I'm getting teary-eyed only because, <laughs> you know, you, you, you were fortunate to have a close relationship with your, uh, with your dad. You were able to have his uh, values, uh, his upbringing, and you were guided by your father. So, um, and what is the most valuable lesson that you learned from him? Hard work. Uh -huh. Hard work. And 
Again, respect and dignity. Okay. Always have respect for others. That is so inspiring to hear that, uh, you know, uh, you're not blinded by just monetary values, but it goes back to uh, respect and dignity, which is very, very important. In a world where uh, there's so many material things, Glory, that uh, we are surrounded with, it's easy to get caught up with the value of wanting this material possession. That they kinabak ng kayat mo nga, that they adaaming kang ka, that ito yung saguday, wano, that ito yung materials. But yet, that ako ng mga integrity, that ay hard work. Those are values in life that are immeasurable. You cannot put monetary value on them. Ngayon, Nagito yung katagitay gamay ng wano kinabak ng nga mabalin mo nga ito ko titiag na na yun. So, oh, I salute you and commend you for that. Thank you, Ate. Tell us about your mom also because, you know, there have to be a balance, maternal and maternal things. So tell us about mom. My mom is very loving, very, um, na, na asi, very patient. She's all about, um, talking about God. She's always reminding me to be humble mm -hmm. and don't forget about God where who created us uh -huh. and guided us. I have a um, situation right now okay. that always remind me, don't forget to pray. Uh -huh. um, every single time, wake up, go eat and everything. She is my guidance. Wonderful. She is with me all the time. Uh -huh. She worries too much, and I love her so much. <laughs> Typical mother who yes. uh, never stops yes. mothering. You know, yes. they always make sure that the the children are well cared for, are taken care of, mm -hmm. and uh, they are watched over, and no harm uh, will happen to them. So that's yes. what mothers are there to do to protect. It's just like the the hen that uh, protects all the little chicks that no handang they tay maiwawa when no mapukaw when no they tay uh they tay desgracia because uh all these risk and uh, uh things are around us we are surrounded uh by the things that uh could do harm to us but by they tay ibagana kung kung agluwaluka Especially now, Ate. I'm uh -huh. going through health health uh -huh. issue right now. Oh. So always say, always tell me, don't forget to pray. Pray uh -huh. is very powerful. Uh -huh. And I do believe in that. Um, back in 20s, I believe it's 2013, uh -huh. I was diagnosed oh. for pre-cancer. I, um, I have a polymyositis. Oh, 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 um, oh, so always tell me, pray. That's your. That's your. Um, it's a hold. strength. That's Lord. your strength, uh -huh. and it's it's your strongest medicine. And I pray and pray. So every morning, it reminds me be thankful and pray. What a wonderful uh, lesson to be taught by your mother, who is the uh, main strength. The main foundation uh, for our family, yes, and uh, uh, I cannot put a value. Iti kina important iti pinag pinagraen, pinagkararag for guidance and uh, direction. Uh, and like I said, I get emotional when you share stories uh, like that because I can relate. In two thousand five, I was uh, diagnosed with brain tumor. Oh. And I thought that was uh, like pretty parang dusa ni Apo kada kita yo. But uh, for me, it was an awakening, awakening to do better, awakening to uh, be thankful and grateful for all of my blessings. And this is why I'm feeling, I, I'm feeling your energy right now. And you're right. To have faith, to pray, and to continue 
to ask for guidance, for direction from a loving Heavenly Father. Yes, I feel. I'm so glad you agreed to come. <laughs> I knew that the show would be difficult to do because somehow, even, even if we don't really know each other that much on a personal basis, I knew that I, I can connect with you because I feel your energy. I, I feel uh, that you, you are a very, very special child of God by your faith and for all the wonderful testimonies that you have shared about hard work and also being uh, accountable and also doing the things that are righteous. We will come back here on Pinoy Power Hawaii. I'm your host, Amy Ortega Anderson, and we will have uh, another chance to have a conversation with our guest today, uh, Glory McCaleb, with uh, Glorious Creation. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines. I was the head coach for the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we we're fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. This show is based on my book, which is also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about leadership, creating a superior culture of excellence, achieving and sustaining success, and finding greatness. If you're a student, parent, sports or business person, and want to improve your life and the lives of people around you, tune in and join me on Mondays at 11 a.m. as we go Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. I'm your host, Sharon. Thomas Yarbrough of Sister Power here at Think Tech of IE. And Sister Power is all about motivating, empowering, educating, and inspiring all people. And we have various subjects here. Sister Power is here at Think Tech every other Thursday at 4 p.m. Again, my name is Sharon Thomas Yarbrough, host of Sister Power. We look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at sistersempoweringhawaii at gmail.com. Look forward to chatting with you soon. Aloha. Welcome back to Pino Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. And today we are really having an empowerment and with my beautiful uh, guest, who is beautiful inside and out, Glory Michaela. What's your main, middle name, Glory? Ermitanio. Okay, Glory Ermitanio Michaela, who hails from Marcus Town. Is that close to Sarat? Close to Dingras. Oh, Dingras. 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 Okay, yeah. Nagbatanti Dingras and Banna. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hanap ko familiar because uh, siyam lang titawang ko yung Dimayak. So, mm -hmm. I don't remember much, but uh, I know that uh, the vicinity, um, I, 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 could, I could get lost, but uh, I'm still able to remember a lot of my upbringing. So, let's go back to uh, your stories. Um, your willingness to share and help others, uh, you're so willing to do that because you know the struggles, right? Uh, what can I do to help? <coughs> How can I help? Uh -huh. Anything I can do to help to, with the community or to just personal to someone. Everyone knows me. Uh -huh. That Glory doesn't know how to say no. Doesn't take no. <laughs> <laughs> my husband always he always tell me that's why I, mean, I love you so much because your heart is so full of love heart of gold yeah heart of gold okay. yes always uh, since you mentioned others. about your husband tell us about your husband and your family uh, I know that he's a, he's a big rock <laughs> he's an architect uh -huh. here in Pacific Garden Center okay we have four kids Taylor, Shania, Ben uh -huh. and Paris uh, Paris is my miracle baby. Mm. Um, the, that is our um, child together. The three is our previous. This child, uh, Paris Ember, is a miracle baby, I say. Mm -hmm. I have her after my chemotherapy. Oh, yes. wow. So after the cancer? After the uh, pre-cancer that was treated mm -hmm. back in 2012. 
12. Mm -hmm. um, my doctor told me that it's not, um, it's not guaranteed that the baby will be healthy. Mm -hmm. Again, I pray to God and I ask for a healthy baby. And here's God gave me a healthy and a precious child. Wow. Beautiful child. So that's Paris. That's Paris. Wonderful, wonderful stories of uh, triumph and, of course, yes. uh, keeping the faith. Ito ay uh, kunang na agkararagang uh, ang kanayon to, oh, yeah, mm. for the Lord to bless you always. And uh, you did answer your prayers. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I'd say all my prayers are granted. I ask for a wonderful husband uh -huh. that support me and be there uh, for me through sickness and in health. Uh -huh. Succeed. All my success is with me. He is with me all the time. Even if I say, let's donate something, let's go help other uh -huh. community. Let's go Philippines and attend um, a, charity mission. a charity mission. Right. And he'll say, yes, baby. Let's that is go. so wonderful. And he yeah. loves Philippines. Uh -huh. how, how long have you been married? We've been married for three years. Uh -huh. yes. Still new, oh. but we feel like we've known each other for a long time. You met your soulmate. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, uh, when did you know that uh, he was the right husband for you? I, I believe that when he started um, giving me jobs for my other business. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a cleaning business, and he had asked me if I want to take more jobs. Uh -huh. um, so, that's how I knew that when we started having meetings and coffee, it's like, oh, I think this guy is uh, wonderful and a perfect match for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he, he, he was single and available. He was single and available. Uh -huh. yes. That is so... But that's not how we met. Okay, um, tell us about how you met. We met back in my old workplace, uh -huh. um, 10 minutes before we closed. He is coming for a haircut. And he asked us, what time we close? And uh -huh. he said, 10 minutes before 9 o'clock. And I said, we close at 9. Uh -huh. Oh, I have time. So me... I was like, what? Ten minutes before we close, I have to go home. <laughs> but I have to serve. I have to cut his hair because I don't want to disappoint anyone. And uh -huh. I just wanted to give him my haircut. Right? And then he thinks that, you know, I was cute. <laughs> but I didn't remember that until uh -huh. he reminded me eh, when we started dating. Uh -huh. Do you remember when you gave me an attitude <laughs> <laughs> cutting my hair 10 minutes before we closed? And this, so that's how we, uh -huh. we actually met. That I don't remember, but he does remember. Uh -huh. He thinks that that was cute. <laughs> of course. Yes. You went out of your way. You went out of the box to uh, please him. Yeah. And uh, he remembers that. Uh -huh. But I've, I've also seen and witnessed the other side of you. You may be uh, small, but uh, very powerful, and uh, you do speak your mind, and I love that about you. Uh, and we were in the same uh, situation, of serving the same situation, when uh, people uh, tend to uh, not put a value on our hard work and our monies and our donations, we are quick to kind of pull away because the, the money that we donate, the money that uh, we use uh, comes from hard work. Yes. And I we certainly don't want people to take ad advantage of that yes, and just yes. uh, take our, our money and disrespect us. I think you and I have that in common. Yes, and, yes. And, and right away, uh, we know when to stay away and to never get back in that dark place again because it's not a, a pleasant place to be in when people mistreat us for yes. our goodness yes yes so um i i like that i said i like this uh uh little woman uh, <laughs> with a spunk <laughs> yes. and yes. she wears her attitude <laughs> on her sleeve and i'm glad you spoke up because i said i'm gonna have a conversation with her and remind her that you did the right thing. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, those type of nagkita uh, nga decision kat isang to ti mangkiri kang ka iti at adupay nga success ng kaputa you know you learn to speak up and recognize right away nga nagkita yung kata ang nasaya at ngagalad. Yes, I think. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Well, it's so wonderful to hear that the uh, 
Talagang a success uh, story. Where do you want to go with uh, your business as far as uh, taking creations by glory to another level? I know that you help a lot of women uh, feel beautiful. And uh, uh, being that you are a cancer survivor like I am, um, how do you handle the uh, women that are going through chemotherapy? They want to come to you and uh, ask you of how can you make them beautiful. How do you handle that? How I handled um, this past year, I had a, um, we had an event, uh -huh. Cut for Cost. It was um, all that charity went to, um, all that money that we made went to a uh, charity. Okay. Um, Mrs. Uh, Sarah Luz, Sarah Hosaka. Okay. Helped me to put this together. Uh -huh. Actually, this year, this was last month. And whatever we made in that uh, time, we donated that money uh -huh. to whoever she picked on, gave it to. And then last year, we had a cut for cure. So what I did for, um, for everybody, community, Facebook, uh, customers, client uh, comes mm -hmm. in, I ask for everyone to participate and to give me the names of the cancer survivors. Okay. Yes, and send me their names and we'll draw the, their names. Whoever wins uh -huh. gets to come into my salon to get pampered for free. Wow. Yes. We want to make them feel beautiful mm -hmm. and, um, you know, relax in our salon. So they're not feeling depressed of what happens. They're a cancer survivor. And you can relate to that being a cancer yes. survivor like yes. yourself. So you That's what give we back. did in the past. So my future um, goal is um, I want to open one, uh, another shop mm -hmm. in town. Once I open that, I'm just a small business right now, but I, one day that w once it becomes big, I want to open my own nonprofit organization to help other, um, other people that ne in needed in health, mm -hmm. cancer, either cancer or whoever comes to me and asks for help. I can only help small because I'm not a, a, a very big company yet. Mm -hmm. Hopefully one day. God will bless me, then I can have more, more to help. <laughs> well, I'm sure, I'm sure that the Lord will provide a way uh, through prayers. Uh, I know that he's there to answer uh, our prayers, and he, does, he, he has been answering yours. Well, our conversation has come to an end. Thank you so much for sharing uh, the wonderful journey, the success stories, the struggles, the triumph, and, uh, of course, uh, sharing your blessings to those that are less fortunate. And I want to commend you for your great deeds and continuing to share your blessings with others. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you again for uh, another wonderful uh, episode of uh, Pinoy Power Hawaii here on Think Tech Hawaii. We want to thank Think Tech for uh, allowing us to come to your home and share empowering stories like today when uh, Glory Michaela shared her wonderful success stories. Until next time, maraming salamat, God bless, and mabuhay.